At least it's not all bad. This place seems to have pretty good reviews from what I just, uh, googled. But, um, uh, I'm sorry. This date has been an utter failure. No, I know you're being nice, like always, but it's completely my fault. I should have checked the weather before trying to take you to a theme park. I should have double checked the exact time of my restaurant reservation too. And I should have had a backup idea for if one or both other plans fell through. This day definitely hasn't given you the best impression of me. And I'm so sorry. God. This is embarrassing. Some great first date, huh? You deserve so much better than ducking into a dingy little dive bar like this. I wanted to take you somewhere fancy, where they grind the pepper and cheese at your table. And, I don't know, serve flambe? You're such an amazing person. I just wanted to show you a good time. Aw, oh, that's sweet of you to say. But it can't have been the best time, running through the rain like that with me, twice. Then having to sit here all damp and cold. Uh, yeah, I guess the coffee is hot, and not terrible. You're such an optimist. That's, um, that's something I really like about you. No matter what happens, you're always smiling and being so positive. That smile is infectious, you know? I've seen you lift the spirits of others, help anyone in any way that you can, and live so unselfishly. That kind of joyful spirit it makes an impact. That's why I really enjoyed working with you when we got paired up for that project in class. It's kind of crazy how we're majoring in the same subject and share so many professors. That was the only time we've been on a team. That was a really great time. Not just because you were a perfect project partner, but because I, I've liked you for a while now. Or at least, I think I've liked you. I mean, I've wanted to get to know you better, to see if I like you. Ugh, I'm making a mess of this too. I can't believe it. I had this whole plan of taking you somewhere romantic and confessing how hard I was crushing on you, but I couldn't even do that. I guess it's out there now, so yeah. I think you're amazing and smart and funny and sweet. I hardly ever see you frown, unless you're concentrating hard. Then you kinda look like you're gonna murder someone, but that's not a bad thing, I guess. God, I'm rambling, I... Oh, okay, okay. As long as you're not about to storm out on me. See, that's what I'm talking about. You're so kind to everyone. And I almost don't feel good enough to be your date. Not even for this one day. You think I'm cute? You mean you don't find any of this bumbling nonsense pathetic? Uh, oh, well then, that's so sweet of you. Thank you for saying that. But really, I don't even know how I managed to ask you out in the first place. It was the last few minutes of work on our project and I knew I wouldn't really have a chance to be alone with you again. It just slipped out. I'm surprised you could even understand what I asked. My words came out so muddled. My heart nearly left my chest when you said yes. It was pounding against my ribs when you gave me your number. It's still pounding now. 
just sitting in this booth across from you. I... I think you're that amazing. Yeah, I know that's true. No one's perfect, and I know you're a flawed human like me or anyone else. I'm not putting you on a pedestal that you can't live up to. I'm just describing what I see in your life. But I know you have things that bother you. I, I sort of have another confession. I, I saw you crying alone in the library last week. No one else was there that late. You look so sad. It was the first time I've seen you like that. I don't know what was wrong, but it made me upset too. I wanted to go over and ask what was wrong. I wanted to be there for you the way you're always there for everyone else. But I wasn't brave enough. I didn't know whether you'd be glad that I came over, or ask me to leave you alone, or get angry that I was prying into your business. I didn't want to impose that I was disappointed in myself for leaving. So, completely honest here, I hoped I could maybe have a second chance to ask you about it. If it's too personal, you don't have to tell me, but if talking about it would help, I could listen. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. How are you holding up with all that going on? I had no idea you were dealing with something like that. Aw, oh, now I've made you tear up again. Uh, uh, here, here, I have one of those cotton handkerchiefs. There you are. Let it soak up as many tears as you need to let out. Hmm? Oh, um, <laughs> my mom made me bring it. I guess she's right about everything, no matter how hard I try to deny it. She also wanted me to bring an umbrella, but I didn't listen. Even if I had brought one, we still wouldn't have had a very good time out there in the amusement park. I don't think any of my umbrellas could stand up to wind and rain this harsh. Yeah, I told my mom about our date. I was excited, okay? Scoring a date with your crush. It's... Something you tell your mom about. My mom's my biggest supporter. She can be a bit... Uh, what's that word? Um, cl... No, cloying, that's it. Cloying. But I can't hate her for it. She's been there for me when no one else was. What about your parents? Uh, yeah... It took them a while to adjust to my major, too. They're making me pay my own way through, which is fair enough. It makes life pretty hard, though, having to work so much and go to classes, homework, any semblance of a social life. Even an awkward one is better than nothing. I've got a few good friends I made since coming here, though. Oh, yeah, they know about our date, too. I had to tell my friends, even though I knew they'd tease me. How'd they tease me? Oh, you know, just stupid stuff. Don't fall too hard and leave us all behind. Make sure to pick up the bill at the restaurant and other stuff. Yeah, other stuff that's not important. Uh, how did you... Oh, Jenna. Her mutual friend and occasional enemy. Tell me she didn't tell you the same stuff. Oh, well, ignore her. She's just too enthusiastic. Huh? Oh, you... You wouldn't mind holding my hand? Like she said? Uh, okay, um... Do you really want to? My fingers are still pretty cold after the dowsing we got. Alright. Yeah, that's fine. How are your hands so warm? They feel really nice, actually. But mine have got to be horrible. No? Maybe you're a good liar. I can't tell. You are blushing, though. That's adorable. Oh, 
I am too. Well, I can't help it with you holding my hand like this. I haven't gone on a lot of dates, so this is really special, even if it is a disaster. You're the first person I've liked this much, so that makes it all worth it as long as you're taking it in stride too. Can you blame me for falling for you so hard? Ah, uh, speaking of, um, would you still like to go out sometime? Give this another shot? Maybe not on a weekend, but we can do something after classes, since we have roughly the same schedule. I could pick you up, and I promise I'll plan something more extensive next time. <laughs> I'd love to get to know you more, so will you please go on another date with me? Let me make it up to you for this atrocity. It's okay if you don't want to. I wouldn't blame you after such a terrible... Oh, oh wow. I didn't expect you to kiss me. Um, I'll take that as a yes, then. Terrific. Well, why don't you tell me where you'd like to go next time? Maybe with your input, it'll be the perfect experience. Though, as long as you're happy, I don't really mind everything that went wrong today. I'd rather have an awful date with you than a perfectly fine evening alone. So, thank you for giving me a chance.